Okay, now we are on my uh, i5 Hackintosh. And this is where I'm running the Plex Media Server. I chose to use my uh, i5 Hackintosh because of the performance that uh, my, my i5 delivers. I plan on, or I do, stream uh, to four different devices in my house sometimes at the same time and those four devices would be the two Roku players and the and and two of my uh, PlayStation 3's I actually have three PlayStation 3's in my house but at one time when it comes to streaming movies we we'll probably stream on like maybe three to four at one time depending on the situation now it's always good to have, you know, uh, more options with watching movies. So, what I want to talk about also is Voodoo is offering a service where you can convert your DVDs into digital files or, or uh, AVI files or MPEG files or, or whatever and store them on their site for like $2 per disc. And me, this is just my opinion. I can do that myself or you can do that yourself. So... And it's real simple with Plex. And that's why I like Plex. But anyway, we're in the, uh, we're in the uh, media manager. And you can manage your movies. You can manage uh, photos. You can manage uh, music and television shows. And it's real simple. But let's explore this real quickly. I know you can't really see this. Or you probably can. I just can't see it clearly. You can view your libraries, but you cannot play them within uh, within the media player. What will happen is you will go to Reveal and Finder, and then you can play your file, you know, through some other uh, other application. Um, to add a movie is very simple. Like I said, what I would do if I'm adding a new library or adding something to the library or section, I would hit the plus. You see my arrow here? There's a plus right there. I would hit that. This drops down. Okay, I would select what type um, what type of content I'll be adding. Whether it be a movie, a TV show, music, or photos. Then after that, I would hit this plus. And then I would select the folder or the content I want to add. Then once that's right here, I would hit Add, uh, add section and then it appear right here the section appear right there and the movies are just load up or whatever I added then after that uh, Plex will automatically search the internet for metadata and metadata will contain uh, this photo and information about the content now in the event that the uh, that information is uh, incorrect you have the option to fix that so this is what happens you click that and then you get a selection of what could possibly be corrected or what could be possibly the correct information so that's what that would look like and you will select it and if not if, if uh, the right information is not in there or the correct information is not in there what you would do is hit edit section no, that's wrong. I'm sorry. Where is that? Okay, yeah. Edit metadata. And there you have it. You can type in whatever you want. It's just that simple. So in conclusion, I would say Plex on the Roku player is awesome. Um, there's a lot of great services out there. But they cost you and Plex is free that's one of the reasons I like it um, I like it on the Roku player because it's convenient it's not jumbled up I like a lot of programs or a lot of applications on Roku and in comparison to their their other counterparts so that's it I'm done if you have any questions leave me some comments like the video subscribe talk to you later